unexpected colors that you love but once avoided. Let me introduce you to the polish that for me changed my view. This one, Girly Bits, sees every opportunity. This is a polish that came from the Honky Tonk Blues collection uh, that was released back in July 2021. I only found out about this polish about a year ago actually and I, I loved it. I thought it was kind of a quirky looking polish. It was, uh, and it came out in a collection where um, most of the polishes had a lot going on, especially these um, hot pink glitters um, and a shimmer running throughout. So this polish is described as a bright sunny yellow jelly base filled with pink shimmer and small hot pink glitters. I was actually drawn to the, the collection as a whole, the Girly Bits Honky Tonk Blues collection, and I was a little bit hesitant about the yellow. Um, typically yellows were not at all something that I was drawn to. When I was growing up, I found that anything with a yellow shimmer, anything with a yellow tint, um, it just, I don't know, it made my nails seem stained. And I, I really didn't like it. And I would actually stand there in stores and, and compare polishes and go with the one with the least amount of yellow. So the fact that this one came in the collection for me was definitely a departure. Um, but I ended up absolutely loving it. In fact, this one was one of my favorites in the entire collection. Um, so that one's Girly Bits, um, sees every opportunity. I do have this one on a, um, a swatch ring. For this polish there are tons of those hot pink glitters and all of my swatch rings I do just in two coats for consistency so I can remember what I did um, but this one it's uh, it, it plays so beautifully in in the light it's really hard to show here um, without direct sunlight but uh, this one was so much fun and it really was what started my uh, new relationship with the color yellow in polishes This polish is Bluebird Lacquers. It's Pelican, not Pelicant. And this polish was different for me because the yellow really did need to speak completely for itself. Um, a beautiful kind of neon um, shimmer chrome effect. So there's definitely a, a really brilliant shimmer, um, neon shimmer to that one. Um, it, in the sunlight, in natural sunlight, it just absolutely leapt off the nails. Um, it really was sunshine for the nails. And it made me so happy the entire time I was wearing it. And I really didn't want to take this one off. Um, so again, it was two for two on yellows. Um, after avoiding yellows and anything with a yellow hint um, for most of my younger life. My next polish I wore last fall. Uh, so this one is Great Lakes Lacquer, and I purchased this one from Great Lakes Lacquer. Unfortunately, this one is no longer available. Um, I believe it's completely discontinued on their website, so this one might be available in D stashes and things like that. Um, but this one is called Love and Jewelry. And this one was a little bit different. There was a warmer, hue, uh, warmer shimmer to it, kind of a a red to, to orange to gold uh, shimmer in it. Um, yeah, so very different from the other two that I was, uh, that I fell in love with, but I figured in the fall, let's give this one a go. So for this polish, um, I do have a swatch ring, again, swatched in two coats, and I'll try to bring it up so that I uh, can catch some shimmer there. Um, Again, it is a very pure um, kind of primary type yellow. It, um, but the shimmer running kind of that red to orange. Um, <laughs> these yellows are, <laughs> are not, the, the camera's really not uh, letting these yellows shine. But uh, again, in the sunlight, especially in the, the early fall, I found that that warm shimmer 
uh, with the reds to oranges really uh, brought this one to life. So since then, I've been exploring a, a number of different shades of yellow. Um, those were the three that started it all, but here are four more. Quite different, um, uh, quite different looks for these next four, but uh, all of them I, I loved, and it, it really has reaffirmed my, my new love for yellow, and I'm now actually seeking them out to buy. So my next one up is ILNP's sundress. And ILNP's sundress came out in spring of 2022 as part of their courtyard collection, which is a spring collection. And this one's a totally different type of yellow and definitely one that back, back in the day I used to avoid because um, there definitely is in this sort of white base. It's clearly a light cream yellow polish. Um, definitely one I would have avoided in the past. Um, so the description that went along with this one was that it's a pastel pale yellow speckled nail polish with blue metallic flakes sprinkled throughout. So I, that was actually something that I really loved about it. It was a, a totally different um, shade of yellow being this pale cream. Um, but those blue flakes, those metallic blue flakes were really special. I had never seen anything like this. I wore this polish back um, this spring, in spring of 2023, and I wore it in two thin coats, and, um, and I did uh, use a glossy top coat on top of it. Um, and it was, <laughs> there was something so elegant about this one. And I really, I mean, even two years ago, I would have never put that word elegant with yellow polish ever. And I mean, this one is a, definitely a cream, so a different take on a yellow. It's really, uh, it is the palest yellow that I have in my collection. Um, but those blue metallic flakes were just out of this world and really elegant, a beautiful polish that I wore this, this spring. Now the next one I've got is uh, actually another flaky and this one is a prototype. So this one is by uh, one of my new favorite brands, Crisable Designs. And this one was prototype 332. So unfortunately this one is no longer available. It was just a prototype. This one, you can sort of see actually the, the camera is picking this one up. There, it's a kind of a buttery yellow color and the, there's flakes in there. And to my eye, I mean, there's no description that comes with it. To my eye, I'm seeing, I would think two different types maybe of iridescent flakes. Although there, I could be completely wrong on that. I'm seeing some warm ones that are shifting kind of from a red to pink to orange to gold. Um, and then there's a cooler, it seems a little bit smaller maybe, that's shifting like green to blue. Um, so it plays really beautifully in all different lighting. Like when you're, when you're indoors, you, you see some flakes jump out a little bit more than maybe outdoors. So it, it's a really entertaining polish. Uh, I did wear this one as well this spring. Here's the swatch ring for this Crisable Designs polish. This one's very pale, very pale. Um, so when I wore it, I actually built it up in three thin coats. It was almost like a I'm not sure if it really was a jelly, but it really was fine. And it really allowed those delicate shimmering flakes to, to come through. Um, so I'll hold this swatch ring up to my own nail to see if I can get it to play nicely with the light. Uh, not as well. But um, yeah, this one was, again, a very delicate polish. And yeah, different lightings, different types of flakes really emerged. And of course, in this lighting here, my camera lighting is not at all doing it justice. It's uh, the flakes are very shy uh, on camera. There's a few there. You get some of the warm, um, the warm look down at the tip um, of my nail uh, towards the ring of the ring, uh, the swatch ring. Anyway, that one's beautiful. So that one was Crucible Designs Prototype 332. The next polish I have is completely different. 
Um, this one was a surprise favorite of mine this summer. And this one is Cirque Colors Hedonist. Uh, this one I purchased just this year as part of the 2023 Vice Collection. It was a re-release. I'm not sure when the original Hedonist, um, when Hedonist was, uh, was originally released, but I was super excited to get my hands on this one. Um, it is a true um, neon primary yellow cream. And uh, the cool thing about it too that I haven't had the chance to try out is that it is UV reactive. Um, so it's UV reactive uh, properties means that it glows under black light. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of black light around my living environment. So <laughs> anyway, I, I do look forward to seeing how that, uh, that plays um, if I'm ever in that kind of a situation. I did wear it in three coats um, just to make sure that it had you know, no, no uh, patches or anything like that. With yellow, that's, that's not uncommon. And I wanted to be sure that I was doing this one justice. But this one was just, oh, it's a new summer favorite. Um, I, I really have nothing like this in my collection. I don't own very many neons. Um, but this one was just the perfect primary sunshine yellow uh, neon. And I was, I'm so happy to have it in my collection. And the last one of my trides, um, <laughs> this one was spectacular. Um, so this one, unfortunately, uh, you can't really get anymore. It's a bee's knees lacquer. And um, this one is called Fantastic. Now this uh, bee's knees lacquer came from the What We Do in the Shadows 3 collection. And it is a lion um, sibling polish. It was released originally in October uh, 2022, and it's described as a dirty lemon lion sibling with red to green shimmer and a ton of hollow flakies. And no kidding, there are a ton of hollow flakies in this one. Uh, and that shimmer is definitely a, I would describe it as a warmer shimmer in most cases. And um, again, totally unique to my collection. So I was really excited to get this one on my nails. Um, so here is the swatch ring for that one. Every lighting situation, you see different aspects of the shimmer, the flakies. Um, when I wore it out in the wild, uh, I wore it in, um, two coats. I wore it in two coats and I, at the recommendation of some others on social media, I used a, um, what's called a smudge free top coat. And the one that I used was by Apapila. And it was um, with the intent to maintain the finish, to preserve the finish, the integrity of the hollow finish of this polish. And um, this one, again, just played in every single light. Um, like the, in some lighting, the, the orange shimmer would really come out. In other lighting, like almost more of a green shimmer would sort of appear. Like it was really um, super entertaining. And actually, I wore it in... Um, late spring I believe is when I wore this one and uh, I could really see this as a beautiful fall polish I look forward to hopefully wearing it again this fall um, it's a gorgeous one so bees knees lacquer fantastic these last three polishes that I want to show you they're all untried for me but the reason why I've pulled them out is that all three of them are on my summer rack uh, for 2023. And um, one of them I want to get on my nails right away because it's a little bit paler. The other two, if something happens that I can't quite wear them, I might roll them over to my fall rack uh, for 2023. Um, they're a little bit uh, bolder and, and brighter. So anyway, I'll show you those. The first one is an Essie polish. This one is from the Gel Couture line. And this one was released back in 2020 as part of their summer collection. And it was from the Sunset Soiree collection. And uh, this is one that uh, I think is still uh, available. I just got it not too long ago, actually, from uh, Nail Polish Canada website. And um, so this one is uh, Essie Gel Couture's There it is, Atelier at the Bay. And this one's a very pale one. And it was different from anything I had in my collection. I don't really have any other um, 
sort of yellow, pale yellow creams, uh, or I didn't at this point. Uh, my collection's quickly growing though in terms of yellows. Um, so this one is described as, uh, well, it says, Everything looks better than candlelight, including this soft and sophisticated yellow nail polish. So yeah, uh, I kind of like that uh, description. It's almost like a candlelight yellow. It's uh, definitely, I would say, a creamy, buttery uh, yellow. Really, really pretty. This is an untried for me, uh, but I did put it on a swatch ring um, so I could test it out. And it looks something like this. So this one's very creamy and pale. Um, yeah, really, it's so smooth. I, I put this on my swatch ring just in two coats as I do with all of my swatch rings. And I mean, the, the finish on this one, on the swatch ring is absolutely flawless. And it really appears that the coverage is pretty decent too. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to hopefully trying it in two coats, but as with most yellows, I do expect it might take a little bit more when I get it on my nail. But this one is really beautiful and the quality of it seems excellent. My next untried polish uh, on my summer rack is a hollow and this one's very new to my collection. It was just released this year um, and I just haven't had the chance to wear it yet. It came out, uh, well I should tell you what it is first. This one is KB Shimmer and it's called Daffodil With It. I love these names for this collection, Daffodil With It. <laughs> anyway, this one, uh, KB Shimmer um, Daffodil With It. Uh, this one just came out this past spring, so it was part of the Plant One On Me collection that was released um, back in March, and uh, I picked it up through Harlow & Co., and actually the last time I checked, they still had uh, this collection available on their website. I know sometimes they, they sell out of um, individual items from the collection, but they're, they're, um, they're usually restocked. Um, so yeah, this one's a gorgeous one that I, I got just towards the end, actually, just towards the end of the spring, um, but it's a great summer option as well. You can really see the rainbow shifts in that one. Uh, the description of this one, uh, I love uh, KB Shimmer's descriptions. They're very poetic and long, um, so <laughs> bear with me on this one, but I love it. Uh, it's a vibrant yellow linear hollow. This gel, uh, gel. <laughs> this joyful hue mimics those early spring buds with its golden tone leaning slightly green for a near true yellow in bright lighting. Anyway, you can just, you can see those rainbows and I really don't have a linear hollow uh, like this in yellow at all. It just seems so happy. Um, and here it is on a swatch ring. The color of that one, I mean the rainbows on my, uh, <laughs> even on my camera, like you can really see the, uh, the rainbows starting to jump off the nail. I can only imagine how beautiful this one would be in sunlight. Um, but yeah, a really gorgeous, untried for me. I'm really looking forward to getting this one on my nails this summer so it can play around in the summer sun. So this one is KB Shimmer, Daffodil with it. Now my last untried, unfortunately, is no longer available. Uh, this one I bought a little over a year ago. Um, <laughs> this one is by Wildflower Lacquer. And this one is called Aretha, and it's from their Classics Collection. Um, so the Classics Collection is one that I bought, actually, the whole collection. This is one of my earliest full collection purchases. This polish is described as a yellow gold jelly base with copper to gold shifting crystal flakes. Um, so this one you can really see up here at the top of the bottle. Like, you can see that jelly base. It really looks like the... Um, there we go. To me, it looks like the flakes are very much suspended in a, a clear uh, yellow tinged jelly base. I can open this up a little bit. Maybe we can see it. Yeah, it's very, it's quite clear on the, on the brush. It's hard for my um, camera to pick that up. But uh, yeah, really unlike anything else I have with those um, really vibrant sparkly flakes. There it is on a swatch ring and definitely to me, like at first I was wondering, is it more gold or is it more yellow? And actually to me, I do see uh, quite clearly that there is definitely a yellow tinge to that base. And uh, oh boy, 
Come on, play nicely in the light. <laughs> anyway, whatever. It's uh, on the swatch ring. Like it's not playing as as well as I would hope that it would. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward to trying this one out on my nails. I don't think this swatch ring does it justice. But um, yeah, this one, I'm hoping to get it on my nails this summer. But if not, I think this one's going to be really pretty in the fall with those um, those flakes. A really gorgeous one that unfortunately is no longer available. Um, so this one is Aretha the Classics by Wildflower Lacquer. So that is it. These are 10 polishes that really changed my mind about the color yellow. Um, uh, I'll just start laying some of them out so you can see what they look like here, uh, hopefully to prevent some of the round ones from rolling away. Um, for the ones that I've tried already, they really did completely change my mind about the color yellow. And for the ones that I haven't tried yet, I can't wait to get them on my nails uh, just to see like how deep my love for yellow goes in terms of uh, all the different finishes and shimmers. And uh, anyway, I'm really excited about uh, the color yellow and just how bright and sunny and happy it has been for me um, over these last uh, 12 months or so. Um, so anyway, I'm curious to know uh, about your thoughts. Um, was there an unexpected color that you love but once avoided in terms of your nail polish collection. Um, how do you feel about yellows? I'm, I'm curious to know also about which um, are some colors that you love but that you once uh, avoided. Um, thank you so much for tuning in today. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, I am Lacquerography and if you like what you saw, feel free to like, um, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.